Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about the arc length. So now I want to show you how to answer. So we need to do first the derivative of RT in here. So this one we can use about the power roof. So we have y equal to t to the power of n. If we do first the derivative of this one, we have n t to the power of n minus 1. So this one, that's about t to the power of number 1. So we put number 1 in here, number 1 in here. So t to the power of 0, you got number 1. This one we have number 1. So we just have only the, the number in here. The second one, if we do first the derivative of e to the power of a t, that should be like this. So we do first the derivative of e to the power of a t. We keep the same e to the power of a t. Later that we do first the derivative of a t we have a. So for this one, we have 2e to the power of 2t. This one, we have negative number 2e to the power of negative 2t. Now, we can apply the formula of the arc length. So we have the integration form a to b, and we have the square root so this one, I will put about a square plus b square plus c square, and we have the t in here. So a, b, c, that is about this one, this one, and this one. So a, that should be about number 0. b, that's about number 1. This one I will put in here. This one I will put in here. This one I will put in here. Oh, sorry, that's about T, not S. So after we put the value in here, we can calculate about this integral. So this one we have number 8. This one we have 4 e to the power of 2t. This one we have number 4 e to the power of negative 2t. So, number 4, we can do about factorization in here. The square root of number 4, we have number 2. About this one, that is about e to the power of 2t plus number 2 multiplied by e to the power of t with e to the power of negative t. We know that this one equals to number 1. And we have e to the power of negative 2t. So this one, that is about a square plus 2ab plus b square is equals to a plus b to the power of 2. Now we need to transform this one into this one.
So we know that from 0 to number 1, this one they always about positive number. So we can show the square root and we just have like this. So, the integration of e to the power of t, we have e to the power of t. The integration of this one, we have negative sign e to the power of negative t, and we put the bounds from 0 to number 1. So, I will put number 1 cone here, number 0 cone here. Because e to the power of 0, we have number 1 and number 1. This one we can solve. And here is the final answer. That is the end. Thank you for watching.